a, a truck show in Toronto has been going on for 30, 40 years even. Um, Newcom Business Media bought the show, I believe it's 12 years ago now, and uh, from the Ontario Trucking Association and uh, moved it from downtown Toronto here to the International Centre in, uh, in Mississauga. Um, so it's biannual, every other year uh, the show is here. It's really the gathering place for the Canadian trucking industry. There's other regional shows that are supported by regional dealers, regional companies. Uh, the Toronto show is really the one that is supported by the national brands and, uh, and companies right across the country. We're quite proud of our, our heritage really in the trucking industry. Um, I'm a third generation truck magazine publisher. My, my grandfather in 1929 started working for a magazine called Bus and Truck. My father, um, later in, uh, in his life and after my grandfather had, been, uh, had passed away, my father started working for Motor Truck Magazine, which, uh, funny turn of events, is now our competitor. Uh, 27 years ago, um, my father, Jim Gleona, and uh, some of his partners, uh, Rolf Lockwood, the uh, editorial director of Today's Trucking, uh, who's still uh, with us, uh, not just in life, but in, uh, in, uh, in work as well. And uh, another gentleman, Tony Hohenadel, is uh, a founding partner and is still uh, the publisher of Truck and Trailer magazine. And there were two other gentlemen who are uh, no longer a part of the, uh, the, uh, the company. But uh, yeah, 27 years ago, they founded it with uh, today's Trucking magazine and Truck and Trailer uh, newspaper, uh, our retail publication. And then the truck show came around, as I said, I think it was 12 years ago, um, the, uh, the purchase with, uh, from the OTA. And in doing that, we, we have an endorsement arrangement with the Ontario Trucking Association and actually just last show extended it for 20 years. Uh, so as of today, we have 18 years left to go, nine shows with, uh, with the Ontario Trucking Association. Uh, it's, it's pretty obvious that nobody's going to come to a truck show without the big trucks. Uh, you know, trailers are important, suspensions are important, as are uh, electronic uh, satellite devices inside a truck, but nobody comes to a show just for electronics and suspensions. You need the Peterbilts, as you said, and the Freightliners, the Navistars, etc. You know, in the trucking industry, I think a lot of people are pretty used to buying a car. Nobody's ever spec the wheels on their car. You know, if you understand what I mean. But in trucking, every unit that's bought and taken off a production line for a for a fleet is spec a different suspension, perhaps different weight different lengths, different all sorts of options, uh, even right down to bumpers and lights, LED versus others. So there's thousands of options on, on a single truck when, when a, a fleet or an owner operator make a purchase. So they can come to a truck show, yeah, everybody wants to see the flashy big rigs, but they also need to see those suspensions and see those wheel axles and see those uh, you know, brake systems and, and lighting uh, LED options, etc. Uh, and it's just a part of the industry as long as um, I think fleets uh, want to spec every last detail. You're going to need to have all those different suppliers at a show. Uh, with today's trucking magazine is uh, a, a Canadian uh, product, you know, uh, national across Canada is what I mean. Uh, it's written for anybody that owns a truck, whether it's one or a thousand, more than a thousand, it doesn't matter. But an owner of trucks uh, is, is the person that we're trying to uh, inform with industry information, new product developments, uh, it could be government legislation, uh, you know, just in industry information that helps them do their job a little bit better.